Hey, what's up? Welcome to live.besttechy.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions and everything technology related. My girlfriend was um, messing with her iPod and accidentally she found a way to take a screenshot of your iPod anywhere on the iPod, um, you know, anywhere you're using the application, whatever application or on the homepage or wherever, um, without a piece of software being installed. Now, I have to note, I'm not sure if this, this function works on the two, on anything other than the 2.0 firmware. Um, I'm not sure if it works on the one, the one, uh, the one X versions of this, of the firmware for the iPod, but I know it works on the two X, uh, versions for the iPod. That being said, it's very, very simple to do. All you have to do, I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys. All you have to do, you have to be anywhere on the iPod. Let's say I'm on the home page, the home screen, right? And all you have to do, you'll you hold down the menu button, and then you press the power button, and you let go, and it'll flash. See how it flashed? And I can do the same thing anywhere. Let's do it somewhere else. So I'm gonna open up. I don't know. Uh, let's open up the App Store, okay? So I'm opening up the App Store. It's gonna load. It's loading. And um, as soon as it loads, you okay? It loaded, and you're gonna see that. Basically, I can hold down. It looks really white. Hold on. Maybe this was a bad choice, but if you see that, I'm holding down the, the menu button, and I'm going to press the power button, I'm going to let go. It flashes, and it took the screenshot. So, now all you have to do is go back to the main menu, the main homepage, go to Photos, and you'll see you have saved photos. I, I was messing with this before, so I have four photos in here. Um, and all you have to do is go to your Save Photos, and click... Um, the photo. I'm going to choose the one of my home page. And then all you have to do is click the little share icon, the little share icon down the bottom left. It looks like an arrow pointing, um, you know, not the arrow going back and forth, but just an arrow sticking out. So you click that, and you can either use it as a wallpaper, if you, if you like the screenshot, whatever. You can email the photo, which is what we're going to do, or you can assign it to a contact um, in your, you know, your, your mail contacts or your, or your, uh, your phone contacts if you have an iPhone. So I'm going to email the photo, and you click email, it'll pull it up in mail, and now make sure, if you don't have your mail account set up, like with an email account or anything, it's not going to work. But if you do, all you have to do is address it to the right person, I'm going to address it to me, best techie, um, so we're addressing it to Jeff, that's me. You type a little subject, I'm going to type hi, and I can say this is a screenshot and then I can send it assuming I type it right there we go so now I have this in my uh, as you can see I have it the screenshot in there and I have my message so we're gonna send this now see it's all in mail so now I'm gonna hit send and it will send the photo to my email. We're going to check it right now and make sure it went through. Looks like it went through. I have a good Wi-Fi connection. So we're going to check it right now. Let's check my email. Pull over to uh, mail on OS 10. Refresh it. We're going to pull it up and uh, look, there it is. Right there. Voila. Works. Awesome. This is great. All right. So you want, if I oh, actually, let me show you guys how, how I'm going to pull it up. Um, with uh, Cam Twist, I'll show you. I know you guys like when I pull up my desktop. So I'm gonna go to the desktop, and as you can see, right here, this is a screenshot. Uh, this was taken, it's a JPEG. And there it is, right there, there's my uh, iPod. As you can see, I have remote, you know, App Store, writing pad, which is pretty neat, calculator, etc., etc., terrific. There it is in all its shining glory. So that's how you do it. That's how you take a screenshot with, uh, without an application installed. It's very simple, very cool, and it works. There's no reason to install. Now, I, 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 did a, I, did a, I wrote up a post on my blog a while back um, with this software that I, that I recommended called Screenshot. If you jailbroke your iPod, you could have got this. I'm not sure if it's in the App Store. I don't think it is. But there's no need for that anymore, and it didn't really work that well. Um, it really didn't work that well at all. This flawless it just works very simple so I'm gonna recommend you try this and if you have an iPod touch 
And if you have an iPhone, let me know if this works as well. I'm not sure if it does. I don't have an iPhone. Um, but if you do, let me know. So, thanks for watching. Of course, this has been live.besttechy.net, where we answer all your tech questions. Feel free to shoot me an email, besttechy at besttechy.net. If you have any questions, I'll do a video on them, perhaps, or I'll send you an email back. And uh, remember, we're giving away this iPod Touch. Not this one, but this one. This one's for you. One of you lucky people, as long as you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, or you're a member of the forums, and you're present in the chat room this Saturday, August 23rd at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, you, you my friends, can possibly win this. So I hope to see you there, and again, we'll see you next time. And remember, take care of your computers.